Hello everyone, this is the Suki of Flames, and welcome back to yet another Dragon Ball Super episode review. This is going to be for Dragon Ball Super episode 33, which is named B Surprise Universe 6. This is Super Saiyan Son Goku. Uh, this ends, uh, actually starts off pretty uh, quickly with Goku and Batama beginning in the match where Goku wasn't really sure what to make of him because. You know, Botama's just a big golden bear, the Winnie the Pooh fat thing wannabe. And he is bouncing up and down. He is like very quick. He is literally bouncing off the ring, flying up in the air, just speeding up. He's a lot faster than he was expecting him to be. He is all over the place. Goku has some trouble keeping up with them and is actually giving him his due for being so fast for his size. He's actually caught off guard due to all this flying around and uh, punching and bouncing off of him and he actually almost falls out of the ring. Namely, I have to mention that Goku is in his base form at this time. He hasn't transformed or done anything with him. So, uh, he actually has to be back more on guard at this point. But, the funny thing here is everyone is still underestimating Goku because Ciampa told all of his fighters that Goku's no big deal because if you remember back a couple episodes ago when Ciampa first met Goku and Vegeta, they saw them in their big like fat suit things where they were actually in their weighted clothing from Whis himself for their training. So he thinks Goku was weak. He did not know that that was heavily weighted or anything like that. So he thinks he is weak as crap. So he's like, ah, don't worry about him. Even Kaba's like, like he, man, there is a big difference between us and them. So they, they're they just assuming that he is not very strong. While Goku's missing, like, oh crap, I ate too much. So he's trying to work it off, and but Botama was like, sure, I'll help you out. Then he starts throwing a like, key blast from his mouth, and Goku actually likes this. Like, yeah, that'll help out. That'll really help me out. Then Goku automatically charges up his Kamehameha wave and throws it at Botamo, but it does nothing at all. At this point, he just starts firing off uh, punches left and right at Batamo trying to test him, but it is doing absolutely nothing. It's just like he's hitting a big bowl of jello. And we have a Jocko that's actually saying, oh, it's, it's, it's how it works is Batamo is trans transporting the hits to another dimension and negating them. But he doesn't really seem all that confident about him, so I am i don't think that's actually true. I just think how Batama's body is, he's able to absorb those punches easy enough, like we've seen other characters in the past do, that are of the bigger stature like that. Uh, Vegeta is uh, wondering, and well, other ones are wondering what, what's going on with Goku not being able to ha handle Batamo. So, Vegeta actually tells Goku, use your head, and you know how Goku is, he, he actually uses his head and headbunts Batamo in the stomach, and it has the same effect, uh, and pretty much it does nothing. At this point, Goku just decides to grab at Batamo's legs, takes him off his feet, he falls backwards, and he just drags him over to the other side of the ring, almost to ring out, and lets him get up just to, like... Uh, judo throw him straight out the ring for the victory. I'm gonna tell you, I was kind of surprised at this. Even though I, I expected it coming, it's this fight was very underwhelming. It was it's it, it was too fast. They didn't really get to showcase what Batama could do whatsoever. They needed to at least let this entire episode be and have have that be the ending. Just don't let them. They, they they went way too fast with this. I would have liked to see more from B Botamo, but he literally got a, like five minutes in the ring and that was it. So why even have him come, come whatsoever? He barely got any more time than Boo. What have they got against the bigger guys? They, they just like screw them and they're out real quick. He had a feel for him because it, uh, Chompa was all over him and he was kind of sad that he lost. At this point, we have... Uh, Frost is going to be the next one to face Goku. And F Frost, of course, again, no one seems would seems to trust him. Vegeta does not like Frost's face whatsoever because he reminds him of Frieza, which he should because he's probably another one of Frieza's race. 
But Frost is very quick to greet Goku in the ring and shake hands with him. And he also goes to the crowd and lets Bulma and the rest of them from Universe 7 know that uh, it was a great fight and he looks forward to being friends with all of them and that he's a good guy and all that kind of other stuff uh, of the sort. And they're uh, very happy and very confused about this because, you know, all they know is Frieza. They don't know anything about Frost, so, you know, they've never seen a good Frieza, so to speak. But at this time, Goku is very quick to say when they start to prepare to fight that he wants him to go ahead and go to his final form and he's, he's saying he should do that or he's probably not going to stand much of a chance. And... Frost is really surprised by him because he probably has never known someone that knew he could transform. And he wonders how and Goku explains that he knew someone just like him, aka Frieza, that could transform. So he should go to his final form. But, at this point when he attempts to go to his final form, he actually goes to his third form, which is the alien-like form that we've seen Frieza in before, that he didn't stay in for very long, and he says that that is his final form. Now, Goku never got to see that form. He was in the chamber healing up during that time, so he never got to see it. At the same time, he would have never seen the second form, but uh, he never, this uh, Frost didn't change that, so it didn't matter. But Vegeta would, and the others were like, what is he up to? That's not his final form. But, of course, uh, Goku says, like, I've never seen this one before, so it might be different. Um, at this time, they actually start fighting and going all out. And uh, Frost is throwing punches left and right at him and f fighting him. Uh, throwing a lot of key blast uh, and those death beam type throws at Goku. And he's been able to dodge left and right out of that. And we have uh, him being able to deal with it. Pretty easily, they're they're going back and forth, uh, pretty well. But it is obvious that Goku still has the advantage. He's not getting hurt whatsoever. It's just not happening. Uh, it's also stated around this time that that form that he's using is actually called his assault form because he tends to use it on the front lines to fight evil, and it's a very good attack form for that. Now, after they they get done doing all them, throwing all the beams, while Goku is still in his base form this entire time, but he finally says screw it, and he changes into Super Saiyan for the first time in this uh, fight, and Kaba is caught off guard as well as Chompa and everyone else, and they're. Uh, Chompa actually asks Kaba like, "What is this form? I've never seen this form before. You can say it. Can you turn into this?" And Kaba. It's confused. He's never actually seen this form before. He doesn't know anything about it, which is surprising. You would think he would know about it. But, he does not know. And Beerus is like, this is a Super Saiyan! And, and that is very strong, and things are going to turn around. Goku also asks that Frost should go to his final form, or things are probably going to get bad for him. So, Frost goes on ahead and changes into his final form and says he usually tries to hold back from using that form because one time he actually overdid it and killed an evil doer with that form so he tries to hold back so he doesn't hurt anyone but he says obviously with how go you know strong Goku is he has no choice so uh, they actually start uh, trading punches left and right but it is obvious that Goku is having no trouble whatsoever whatever with Frost and he is beating the crap out of him for the most part. He has the upper hand completely, which makes me think that while Frost is obviously strong compared to a lot of other people, Frost is nowhere near the level of Goku. He is having his way with Frost and it only is Super Saiyan form. This is not Super Saiyan God Blue, this isn't... Uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan is nothing like that. He is holding back heavily, yet he is completely dominating Frost. So Frost is obviously a lot weaker than Golden Frieza, but overall, that doesn't make him weak. He's just weak comparatively to uh, the new standards that have been set. So, not weak, just not on their levels. He could probably beat just about everyone else out there except for 
you know, the main people. Whis, uh, Goku, Vegeta, Vados, Champa Beers type thing. But, at this point, Goku tells him he should give up. He, you know, he doesn't want to hurt him. I mean, you know, the crowd is kind of on Frost's side a bit as well because he's supposed to be a good guy. He's won the, the Nobel, or was it, the Universal Peace Prize three times because of how good of a person he is. At this point, they start going back and forth again with their punches, and we have a weird punch that comes back from Final Form Frost, and then all of a sudden, Goku just gets really woozy and his eyesight goes all drowsy and stuff before Frost jumps up and kicks him straight out of the ring, thus eliminating Goku. To everyone's surprise, out of nowhere, it, it, no one saw it coming. That ends this episode. In the next episode, they show where Piccolo is actually going to be fighting using his mock synchro. Special Beam Cannon. I can't say it right. I'm going to butcher the crap out of it, so... A special beam cannon uh, and multi-form to try and take out Frost while Goku is constantly saying that he's never seen that type of uh, attack before and he doesn't know what technique he hit him for, with to actually eliminate him so that's interesting to see but anyway that will do it for this episode review if you liked it be sure to leave a like uh, comment down below what you, you thought about this episode and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.